The time has already come for us to say hello and goodbye to this amazing series of Kagura Summer Love is War. And honestly, it has been such an insanely fun, crazy, and heartfelt series, especially with Ishigami's background story. Boy, was I mad at the same time, sad but happy at the same time that our best boy and best girl Ishigami has finally learned how to smile. I'm sure all of us could rant for ages about how amazing this series is, but at the same time, I'm so excited to see what this last episode has plan for us so let us get into things. If you guys want to watch a full anime make sure to check out the link above or else we start the video in three, two, one, go. I'm so excited but at the same time really sad that we've already come to the season finale. It's just like one of those series that like it should it should never end. You get to call Milky. I've been using it to document my daily life. I have nothing to take a photo of. Just a little bit, like an ordinary girl. Pavlet! <laughs> like a so. Ooh, models! Your school uniform, of course. Really? He's so dramatic. <laughs> Couldn't she do her pose again? Excuse me. I love this. His accent. Your bu bubbly best, bubbly best. That's so awkward. It's like a bratty child. Oh. Fika. She's so cute. You do. You have such a cute face. You didn't know you were kawaii? <laughs> That's so funky. Why did that come off a little creepy? Just a tits of your model baby. <laughs> and trust me with your body. Um, sir. <laughs> it's up on Oscar White. Yeah, please don't. That's right, Ishigami, you get in there, sweetie. Oh, never mind. Ishigami, can we get a haircut? This is like so. Whoa! That was some like Madoka Magic Girl transformations. <laughs> this is also like chaotically derpy. I'm really sad that. <gasps> Kagura's ha! Ooh! 
Um, wrong girl. Oh no, Kage went to the dark side. Ooh. Does he not realize how much I donate to the Skolask family? Sir? <gasps> the president knows. I want Shiro. They have the ideal relationship. That's right. I really want Kaguya to participate. Oh! That was a random ass cutscene. Oh, come on, Kaguya, surely. This is unfair. I know, it just upsets me a bit that she's part of the student council. Like, she should be in this photo. Can't she have her back turned? So she could still be a part of this photo? Miko with like long hair. Yeah, let's have it just for keepsake. Kaguya's just like, okay, you can keep your job. <laughs> oh my god, Ishigami, like, boy, um, what is happening? His emo, like, long hair works, it works. <gasps> I mean, it was probably only 50 bucks, so we can get a new one, right? Oh no, it has all her memories in it. That's what I'm forgetting. Did those phones have SD cards? I'm just, oh, I realized the more deeper meaning in the sense she's just lost all the memories, like all the photos she's taken on the phone. This is, impactful because we've had a lot of like selfie um not necessarily like selfies but just like a lot of episodes in regards to just like photos and memories and like selfies and the whole phone like thing as well i probably lost all the photos i took i think this really shows that Yeah, you can do line two. Look at all the photos. But all the photos. Oh, wait, but I don't, I, I don't bring tissues for this episode. I thought that was meant for last episode. Kaka. Oh, I, I just think that really shows like how, like some things don't have a monetary value. Like it's valueless, those photos. Come on, mate, try a little harder. I thought... <sighs> I really was hoping it would have an SD card, but those models don't have an SD card. Couple's phone, couple's phone. Yes. 
Okay, I am kind of happy that she is getting a phone phone. What's happening with her? Kage would never say that. I haven't cracked a single joke. So. Why does she look so excited? <laughs> I suck at just like... <laughs> I love how that was just like two different worlds going on. Smartphone! Now you can take... Welcome to civilized society. Flip phones have gone extinct. I like how they address that. It is kind of sad like how if you don't, have a phone these days you like it's kind of impossible because the two weren't connected through line this is it come on Miyuki make your oh my god these people Okay, I'm getting a little bit worried. What's going on with Kaguya? She's so lifeless in her eyes. Are it? She would never do that. I mean, it was kind of weird from the start when she was talking about the phones. Has her heart been so... Sh she is acting strange. In my opinion, she's acting quite strange. The photos. No. Yeah, no, not the case at all. <laughs> I think she got shattered at the fact that she lost so many photos. I feel like this episode is going to be about making all those memories again. I hate seeing Kaguya so lifeless though. It breaks my heart when Kaguya's like her. Because she's such a strong girl. <laughs> yeah, she got me just like stroking the wall. <gasps> oh, this will cheer her up for sure. Smart boy, smart boy. Oh, that was such an excitement, excited clap. Oh no, we would never do that to you. That's just too cruel. <gasps> Yay, we can share all the photos. And so she has all their memories, but <gasps> the little baby cries, it's beautiful. Oh. oh, that's so sweet. And an empty phone is kind of sad. Oh my God, and they're all coming back.
Oh, they did such a wonderful way of kind of like representing like all the kind of memories coming back that she felt that she lost through the photos. Ooh, that I remember the bento. We'll want to hold on to them too. <gasps> oh, okay, oh, got the. <laughs> He's like, no, that's that's one I cannot share. You'll never lose them. You'll never. Oh, she's back. A smiling Kaguya is best Kaguya. As well as when she does that smirk and how cute. That's cool as well. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe that line came from Ishigami. <gasps> I just, I, I love the fact that Ishigami is the one to talk about smiling. Oh, her first like all together group photo. <laughs> successfully made her smartphone debut. I never knew they could make cell phones so... Um... Chica <laughs> wants to inflate Balloons! Balloons. I think she means balloons. I told you guys it was balloons. What the hell were you all thinking? <laughs> you can pump it. And whoever pumps it at least once and whoever reaches the limit loses it. Learn the game in seconds. Here are the rules. Pump, pump. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh, uh-huh. Fun game. Oh, Miko. <laughs> That's why the guys were so eager. Anyways. <laughs> I love how the girls were the ones that freaked out and were just like, Chica, what are you on about? What is with the like alluring voice of the um, narrator? I would not be able to play this game just cause like, I don't want the balloon popping in my face. <laughs> Angle choices. Oh my god, who's next? Scared by a popping balloon? How cute. <laughs> um... I wonder if Kaguya will react or maybe she'll be like, poker face. She, she has a fear of the unknown. That is true, that is true. <gasps> it's back, baby. <laughs> she can't do the calming ritual at the same time. I should never said I would tell what's fun about this. Save me, Hayasaka. <laughs> Oh, high as I could be like, oh, too busy. Balloon bimbo pay. <laughs> Why? 
well. Has moved beyond fear. That is true. He has taken an extreme step forward in life and that is why you can see both his eyeballs. Because I avoid looking at them. <laughs> Is she coming? No! Ooh! Apparently the entire sports arc festival was useless. I love that kind of like third wall breaking. The rings of citrus proof contain it. Oh, okay. In one drop. Uh huh. Uh huh. Damn. That was smart, but. Who's it gonna pop on? Nico! Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> they all thought Fujiwara was scum. <laughs> you guys are all scum. <laughs> they all joined in and manipulating her. This is the most intense. Oh, is Miyuki gonna pop the balloon for her? So she doesn't have to be. Oh my God. What if you guys told me that this is Dio's voice and I, I can't get it out of my head anymore? When they're in trouble. I mean, there's was some cool words. Baby Shirogata was adorable. Oh. <laughs> and completely ignored them. Noise. Noise. I love how she has a Arigato! This was a legendary way to end. I can't believe they did that. I love how they did that. I feel like I've seen the Bye Bye Way to Die. Results invalid. Wait, legit? <laughs> Take hold of care now. I love how they're still at it at the game. War of Love. <gasps> Go into his embrace and kiss kiss? Okay, I was hoping a bit too much. The battle rages on and on. That's it.
That was legendary. That is all I have to say. I love the way we ended. Honestly, that was such like a smooth transition into the end credits, into kind of the finale of the season. I feel like we've seen that pink like smoke bomb kind of scenario before. I don't know if it was an opening in season one, but I do feel like we've seen it. If you guys also feel like you've seen it or do know where we've seen it, do let me know. Or maybe I'm just like getting things confused. But yeah, I like that sense of kind of like familiarity we got from that kind of pink smoke bomb, if it was from indeed another scene in like previous kind of episodes but I thought that was a great way to kind of transition into the ending and I like that kind of like how we took turns of seeing like each of our characteristics how it was still like kind of a game of love kind of like right up to the end I love that that balloon was absolutely insane though I don't think I've ever seen a balloon go that big without exploding but yeah I think that was quite the good game to put into our season finale I thought it was really great of them to add kind of a little bit of Kaguya's kind of growth as a character through her kind of cell phone the memories she's gained through the photos and how upset she was when she lost it like I think it really showed like the true value of like photos because when I like initially thought she dropped the phone I was like oh it's gonna be fine like it wasn't that much of an expensive phone but I think that was kind of the point like even the phone itself was pretty much like kind of valueless to Kaguya's kind of wealth I think what was in the phone like all the memories she had gathered through those photos on that phone was what kind of absolutely destroyed her when she thought she had lost all those memories she's had in the past with her amazing friends you know with the student council members that was something truly like valuable to her, to her that you couldn't put like technically a monetary value on it so I like the fact how even though it was a cheap phone it had such a high value to Kaguya so it did indeed shatter me when we thought like we had completely lost all those memories she had gained like all those years of photos she's been taking it really destroyed like my feels when I saw that and obviously we could see the impact it had on Kaguya as her eyes I hate it when her eyes go into like the eyes we've seen in our previous state like when we talk about Kaguya in our past we see those kind of like lifeless eyes so I love the kind of transformation and journey Kaguya has come through and especially when everyone started uploading all the photos back to the cloud I love the way that animated that scene of just like you could hear the notification sounds and you could see all the past memories we've had that was such an impactful scene especially with Kaguya lighting up like smiling again and she probably thought she had lost all of those memories so yeah it was such a nice scene really impactful really well animated I really appreciate how they kind of use the kind of meaning of like cell phones with the photos and the memories and I'm just overall glad that Kaguya was able to kind of get all those kind of photos back because to her you know it is probably the most precious thing she has even though we consider her character as a very wealthy character but yeah I guess that finally concludes this amazing series and I have loved every single episode I've genuinely looked forward to every single episode I don't know how long we have to wait for a freaking season three because that is all I could ever wish for because this series is just honestly amazing like it has so many great stories it has so many great life lessons characters development plot it honestly is just like all around a top tier anime like it really just covers everything in a really well-rounded manner like every aspect of this anime I would give like very high points for and also I thought season one was good but season two was brilliant so if we were to have a season three I feel like it would just continuously step up its game and that just gets me ever so excited but we will get season three like I'm seriously willing to just sit here and wait for a freaking season three. I guess with that said though I just want to thank you guys for joining me on this lovely journey of Kaguya Summer Love is a War. If you haven't already do make sure to give this video a like and subscribe so you guys are notified of the next season of anime to come of summer 2020. So it honestly has been really fun watching this anime with you guys and I hope you guys have had a good time as well. But I guess on that note it is time for me to say goodbye to the series but hopefully I'll catch you guys around. But I guess until then, make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll catch you guys then.